And then the 19th, 20th, and 21st of July, we'll be back in Los Angeles at Carlos and Charlie's down on Sunset Boulevard. And then the Olympics start. Mm. Isn't that going to be exciting? Oh, yeah. it's, it's, this town is going to be total madness. It though. doesn't matter. It's exciting. Are you going to any of the events? I'm going to everything. I love anything. Oh, I'm wonderful. all for a USA, and I'm going out there. Boy. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. My friend Honey Brahms was picked official tramp of the Olympics, so <laughs> I think we should show up. We'll be right back at this message of interest, so please stay tuned. Official tramp. My first guest tonight lives on a quiet hilltop ranch in Santa Barbara. She's a simple girl, which always, I called her up to talk to her. I said, what are you eating? She said, I'm eating a grilled cheese sandwich and I'm drinking Gatorade. I said, oh, please, you know, because when you think of Bo Derek, you think of satins and lace. Just a simple, simple housewife with a great body and an incredible face, Miss Bo Derek. <laughs> We both are natural blondes. I knew it. I guess, yes. I mean, you don't do, no, is yours natural? Yes. Yeah, well, so is mine, sort of. Yes, sort of. <laughs> do you really just live a quiet life? I can't believe it. You know, when we're, yes, when we're up at the ranch, it's very quiet. And you have it's your own nice. horses and things? We have seven horses and six dogs and four cats. That's great. Yeah. When are you going to have a baby? No, I don't think so. Why? That's... Well, I don't... I went through a period where I thought maybe it would be nice, but now with all these horses and dogs and everything, I don't see it, uh... No, that's why I asked. <laughs> They're really, you know, a lot easier, I think. No, because usually people use it as a substitute. Mm-hmm. Do you they know what I'm saying? They probably are, and I think for us and the people that we are, they're probably a lot better, um... So th I think so. Yeah, but you've got a lot of time, anyhow, because you're still yes. very young. No, I have time. I can change my mind. How old were you when you got married? Nineteen. That's not bad. No. Somebody told me you, got ma you met John and you got married at 16. Uh, no, we, got, we met at 16. We started living together when I was 17. We married when I was 19. What did your mother think? Mom was okay, you know, and, and, and my father was... tried to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I think deep inside, you know, they were really kind of confused about... It. No, mother wasn't okay. Not at all. They're all very good friends now, but mother sort of went mad, actually. Oh, yeah, it, yes. No, she yeah. did. She did. She really did. No, because I know my daughter's 16. Mm -hmm. If she came to me next year and said, I've met not John Derrick, mm -hmm. but, you know, because I wouldn't... But then again, if he could do with her what he did with you, that's okay, too. Look, you know. He didn't so, do anything. No, but he helped no. you. He helped you. He likes to, to look at pretty things. Yes. I mean, I wasn't in the business. I wasn't uh, trying to be, and he, he'd prefer I not be in, in the business. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Because the stories go, there's so many conflicting... The stories go, he <clears throat> found you and put you into the movies and no. made you the star. No, I, we were, I knew him since I was 16. And I did, and, and uh, the first picture I did that, that people saw was 10, and he had nothing to do with that. But you were already married to him? Mm hmm So we, would you have been an actress if you hadn't married him, do you think? No, I think I would have... Uh, stayed on the beach and sort of, I don't know. Yeah. I was hanging around the beach. I don't know, really. So, so he did help you in that way. He said, you're he very good. He hired me. As yeah, a, well, no, it's healthy. Yes, he hired me, but, but, but we had no relationship. He was still with Linda then. In fact, we didn't even like each other when I did the picture. So yeah. what happened? I don't know. It just sort of happened. It was very strange. Were you worried when you started falling in love with a man like 30 years older than you? Because that's a lot older. If I, if I was saying to myself, I'm falling in love with him, then maybe a, a lot of um, ordinary, you know, sensible things like yeah. that would have happened. But it just sort of happened. I didn't know what was going on, really. It just, we just, it, something sort of took us. Do you ever think, like, because you, you met him at 16, okay? Mm -hmm. You fell in love, say, at 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to ask when you started sleeping together. You moved in. <laughs> no, no, no. No, normally no. when you fall in love and live together, I think that, that, that happens. That would be, yes, well, I wasn't going <laughs> to... I wasn't going to upset your father, you know. I, we couldn't so. do it in this country, though. What? Oh, oh. No, because we had to stay outside the country. Yeah. That's very romantic. Because in this country, it'd be, it could, it's illegal under what age? 18. Oh, I'll never take my daughter to Europe then. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's what happened because Mother tried to take me home, and she couldn't. She couldn't there. I, if you're 16 and have your own passport, you can't, she can't demand that you come home. So you just stayed over there? Yeah, I stayed over there. And then John had to come back, and uh, he thought he would have to live in Tijuana until I became 18. And I would go visit him on the weekends and cross the border. Which would have been romantic, too, though. 
Yeah, but Tijuana is not romantic. I mean, it sounds yeah. good now, but it's not very romantic. Yeah, but everything that you look at you, you think would be romantic. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything associated with you now <clears throat> is sex yes, and glamour. Assume, yes, and the, yeah. probably. How does that upset, does that upset you at all? You're such a sex symbol. Um, no, I, I mean, I live at the ranch, yeah. and I am who I am. And when we go out, like I'm sitting on this, in this program now, I am Bo now, but I am also... And when we go and make pictures, it's all an illusion. Yeah. All of this is an illusion. When you go out to, to shoot for Playboy, when you do all these things, you're trying to accomplish something, and it's, it, there's, there's nothing romantic about that. Hopefully, the end result will appear romantic, or whatever you're trying, you know, the effect that you want to the, to the public. What would you like to end up doing? You're wondering what this is. I, no, I'm not going to ask you. I know what that's going to be, but I'm not This is you, just in case. I know. You promised you would be nice, but just in case. I knew. <laughs> I thought maybe I, you had a, a big pimple somewhere. No. <laughs> Just in case. I wouldn't... What did I say to you on the phone? You, no, you promised. I said, I won't ask you anything you want to be asked. But I don't know why you do it to begin with. I personally think you're very talented and very funny, and I don't know why you had... You have to do that. Do what? Pick on people like but I that. I don't pick on people. <laughs> I, I ask questions. Don't you want to know things about people? Everybody comes I on don't wet on the floor in the hallway. No. Oh, those little jokes I used yeah, to I make know, about those you. Little oh, jokes. I don't want to discuss those things. That's all silly. That's all silly. That's, uh, you don't do that anymore, then? No, I took you out of the act a minute. I thought you were coming no, on the show. No, but do you... Do you... <laughs> now, you see... Never. No. But, but let me add, seriously. All right. Okay. Um, why? Because I had never met you. I used to do Bo Derek jokes. Absolutely true. <clears throat> Who are you going to do jokes about? Are you going to do jokes about some poor little lady who is and has a crummy life? You're going to pick the most glamorous thing in the world to make a joke about. No, Otherwise, but you're very funny without making jokes about anybody in, in particular. No, but it's fun. People love when somebody's very glamorous do a joke about. Like tonight I talk about Prince Charles. Do you think... He really cares. The man owns England, Ireland, Scotland, and Canada. Do you think he cares? You, you pick on... Thank you. I would never... I would never... Like, look at that ugly lady in the first row. I would never mention that. <laughs> There's no lady there. See, now I'll get a letter. You say, I mean, that's why... So you pick on the people that you feel are the most glamorous and the most known. Do you know? And I... Do you know how many people know they have to have an image of someone to have a joke made about them? Does that make any sense? Yes, no, my image is dumb. No, but not anymore. Now you're... Oh.